Okay, let's talk about handguns. I had talked the other night to a young lady on the phone, and uh, she had commented to me that her husband wanted her to get a handgun for self-protection. Well, the problem was, is the husband, I said to her, I said, well, have you, you know, got an idea of what you want? She said, oh, yes, he's got this handgun, and he would like me to get one like it. I said, okay, have you fired his handgun? Yes. And, well, she told me what kind it was, what caliber it was, and I said, okay. And he's like 6'1", and she's like 5'2". Um, a large caliber handgun, a big handgun. So I said, all right, how do you feel about this? And she said, well, it kicks, and it's a little big in my hand, and it weighs a lot, it's heavy. And I said, okay, hold on, hold on. And have you shot any other weapons? No. It's okay. This is the problem that I find with most men and women getting a handgun. Now, there's going to be some of you who know this and some of you who don't, so this is for the people who don't. Now, a lot of times a guy will make a mistake of, honey, you need to get a handgun and let's get this handgun for you and it'll be the handgun that he likes, okay? What you need to get is the handgun she likes. Now, why do I say this? Because she's going to be the woman carrying it. She's going to be the woman firing it. She's going to be the one who decides what she likes and what she doesn't like. The handgun I have that I like, Holly doesn't care for. So Holly has her own handgun. Something that she went and she picked out. Now, how did we do this? Well, here's the best part. We went to a range where they allow you to pay for the ammunition and you get to shoot all the guns that take that ammunition in a selection they have there. Now, it doesn't mean you get to shoot every gun in the store that shoots that ammunition. It means you got to shoot, what did you get, like 10, 12 different guns you were allowed to shoot, right? Something yes. like that? She got to choose 10 or 12 different guns that were there in this case, and they said, okay, these are the, these are the guns you get to shoot if you buy this ammo. These are the guns you get to shoot if you have this ammo. We said, okay, so we went with this ammo, we went with that ammo, and she wound up getting 38. Why? Because she likes it. Why? Because it fits her hand. Why? Because she's willing to shoot it, she's willing to use it. Do I particularly like a 38? Not really, but that's just me. I prefer 357 or 45. My choice. Fits me personally. I have big palms, short fingers. So, you know, big grips, no problem with me. Now, she likes little Smith & Wesson, 38, stub nose. She can control the kick on it. I think the gun's a little light to me. That's just my theory, my, my, my feeling, my theory on it. I like, you know, I like a big heavy gun, you know, but that's just mine. She's different. The fact is, the woman has to find a gun that she's comfortable with. And the important part is, you support her and her decisions. I don't care if she gets a 22. Okay, somebody's already yelling in the background. I can hear it. A 22? Okay, you can look up on the internet. A 22 has actually killed a bull elephant. Okay? Now, granted, that was probably a spectacular one in a million shots, but it's happened. All right? Yes, I know. I've heard the stories. A guy got shot in the gut 18 times with a 22 and he still walked, you know, managed to do whatever. If you put a 22 in somebody's eye and start squeezing the trigger, it's game over. If you start shooting a person in the throat or in the chest or in the stomach with a 22 with certain ammunition, they're not going to be around to argue with you. The ammunition and the weapon. She has to be comfortable shooting the gun or she will not want to carry and or use it. She will be afraid of it or she just won't like it. You know, there's things out there, you have probably bought a knife to use that you just don't like. You know, it's a nice knife, you just, it, it's not you, you know what I mean? It stays in the drawer, that kind of deal. Well, you don't want her to do that with a firearm that you're going to buy. Buy a quality firearm. No matter what kind of firearm you decide on, buy quality. Don't go down and get the $100 Saturday night throw-in-the-door special that you can get at the, uh, you know, hawk shop. 
kind of thing. Even though it's brand new, it's a hundred dollar gun. Okay, quality probably not going to be what you expect. Now, but used gun, that's one thing. You know, you can get a good deal on a used gun. I got a Ruger 22 pistol, single six, for 100 bucks. I thought that was a great deal. I bought it. Now, you may spend a few hundred bucks on a quality handgun. There's deals out there. You can look for them. You don't have to spend 500 bucks. You know, what you, what you see or what you prefer. The idea is the person who's carrying that gun has to be comfortable with that gun, be it a man or a woman. All right, that's the point I'm trying to get across. You have to be comfortable with that gun. Now, after talking to her on the phone about this and talking to her, well, you know, you need to find something you're comfortable with. You need, to, you know, and I talked with him and her both on the phone. They put me on speakerphone. We were able to talk about it, and everything. I asked one important question. Now, remember, he wanted her to get a handgun for self-defense. One important question I asked her. If you buy a handgun for self-defense, are you willing to take another life? And she said, well, if I wound them, we're done. Okay. The chances of you accidentally wounding somebody, or purposely wounding somebody, should I say, as opposed to accidentally killing them, Now's when you want to get a taser, pepper spray, coupaton, self defense classes, you know, a regular baton, a walking stick, anything else. But if you're not willing, then don't bother getting the gun. That was the final thing was he wanted her to get the gun for self defense. She wasn't willing to possibly kill someone doesn't matter what kind of gun she gets to be comfortable with. She's not going to be comfortable with it because she knows that she can actually take a life. There's responsibility in the things you do and the reasons why you do them. And you have to look at all the different options. I tell you this because I'm thankful that we didn't have another person out there who, you know, if she was afraid to use that gun and she pulled that gun or somebody found out she had that gun, they could have taken it away from her because she was afraid to use it to hurt somebody and could have used it to rob and or hurt her. And so I'm glad that situation was avoided. So if you go out to get a firearm for your spouse, remember, let them make the decision. Let them choose the weapon that they want because that's the only way they're going to be comfortable with that weapon, no matter what that weapon may be whether it be pepper spray or a coupon or anything else. Now, I'm a gun guy. She's a gun woman. Some people are, some people aren't. If you are comfortable with the weapon of choice, say pepper spray, if you're comfortable with pepper spray, make sure that you practice. They actually sell practice pepper spray. Pepper, ooh, oh boy, I can't say that. Pa practice pepper sprays, okay? They sell practice containers you can try out and use, all right? Some pepper sprays are not so great. Some are. You can always get a cheapy one and practice with it. You know, there's different things you can use. So if you go with a coupon, practice with it, okay? The idea is, just like in bushcraft, just like with your prepping, just with other stuff, practice, practice, practice. You have to be able to practice your draw on your firearm. You have to be able to practice what are you going to do carrying your pepper spray. Are you going to leave it in your purse, stick it in your pocket, or are you going to have it in your hand when you're walking through that dark section? That's when you need it. You need it to have it available and there. So practice. Get what's comfortable for you and practice with it. Just a quick little video today. Y'all have a good one.